Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Coast today we're joined by the two Gonk Power Droids because we're going to have a look at what the Essential Guide to Droids has to say about them. And there is their spread. You see them there, and here is the background details. So let's just see, it says the EG6 Power Droid. If ever there was a sillier looking automaton than the EG6 Power Droid, it has yet to show its face. Featureless dark boxes shuffling around on stumpy legs, devoid of external manipulators of any kind, the droids battle those who aren't familiar with their function. But without them, starships would sputter, instruments would falter, and modern society would generally grind to a halt. Power droids are ambulatory fusion generators, walking batteries, some say. Their job is to provide systems energy to mechanical devices in situations where a permanent power grid is unavailable or inconvenient. The droids are common sights in ship hangars, repulsor pools and tech domes. Their single function purpose accounts for their rather bland appearance. A large part of the EG-6's innards consists of its fusion generator, which is protected from shocks by a heavily armoured exterior. The droid is built to survive a variety of disasters, up to and including a radiation conduit breach. In emergencies involving extreme temperatures, small relief valves on the outer casing and the bases of both feet bleed off vaporising coolant fluid as steam. The few adornments on the EG6's unremarkable face consist of a plug-in port, a visual sensor, an acoustic signaller capable of droid and computer languages only, and a sophisticated systems diagnostic package incorporating a spectrometer and three scanners, infrared, sonar and x-ray. The droid uses these sensors to run detailed safety checks on the equipment it is servicing. If the number and severity of flaws fall outside the droid's pre-programmed -pro -pre tolerance ranges, it refuses to fuel the item. This dramatically decreases the number of accidental explosions, but gives the EG6 a justified reputation for stubbornness. Even people who work around power droids every day rarely see one use its manipulator arm. This delicate appendage is normally stored behind a tiny portal and is built for ultra-fine electronics work. Since important repairs are best entrusted to an LE unit or a treadwell, the arm usually remains hidden. Apart from their highly advanced diagnostic programming, power droids are notoriously stupid. If ordered to walk a straight line, the automaton will de determinedly keep its feet pumping even after it is marched straight off the edge of a cliff. Fortunately, its durability often allows it to survive such will witless mishaps. Veril Line Systems, manufacturer of the EG6, clearly dominates the energy supply market, but their massive lead has been nibbled down a bit since industrial automatons roll out of the near identical GNK or Gonk unit. In response, Veril has introduced the S9 heavy power droid, a larger and more expensive variation on the EG6. And I do recall seeing in Star Wars Rebels, maybe in the Clone Wars as well, as well the extended version of this where it's got like four or more feet and it's like longer like this which is an interesting variation so let's just see what it says uh right there's not a lot on here that is actually similar to what it says so let me see yeah both of these neither of them really correlate to either of the stuff that's on here but we'll have a go so we've got the, what is it, the systems diagno diagnostic package, <coughs> excuse me, which is one of the bits on here, as is the acoustic signaller, and let's see, obviously we've got the armoured systems housing, there is a light power plug-in socket, which I think might be the green one there, I'm not sure, the manipulator arm behind the panel, let me see. Is there a panel? Very difficult to tell where it is. On here, perhaps? Possibly behind this, I'm really not certain. No, that's the standard power plug-in socket. And then obviously the internal fusion generator is just inside. And we have the coolant tubes and the insulated leg sheath. You can see the ribbing on it there. And the steam release valves will be these markings there, I believe. The visual sensor, again, is one of the ones on the front. And the access panel is, I believe, this 
although it looks a bit different on the other one. So yes, that is just what this has to say about the Power Droid. Not exactly the Gonk series, but very, very similar. Love these two droids, they're absolutely fantastic. We need more droids coming out. So there you go, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed, or like the video.